Hey, are you there? Congratulations to you if you still have your biological mother alive. Then gather here. Let's treat that issue spiritually through that womb that brought you into this world. Have you been toiling all around? Like have things been so difficult for you that you don't know what to do? Have you been working like an elephant and eating like an ant? Has the challenges been, you know, making you go off the hook like you don't know what else or what next to do? Have you been applying for that document and yet all to no, no, no avail? Have you been trying that contract, trying to get that contract and yet you're not getting that contract? Have you been applying for that job even after you have, you're even qualified for that job and yet you aren't getting that job? Have you been single for too long, long overdue for marriage? Like people have started mocking you because you aren't settled down in marriage. Has that marriage you are in been so bitter like, you know, like bitter cola? Or bitter leave like have you been enduring that marriage like the seat of your marriage has been shaken like you don't know what next to do or what is that problem that you're experiencing you've been applying for visa you're qualified and yet you're not getting it what's that problem let me teach you something that when you do by the special grace of God, heaven will smile at you. First and foremost, before you start any spiritual assignment, please bless every single thing you will be using for that spiritual assignment in the unfailing name of the Most High God. Then after that, you proceed. You will be needing your biological mother to carry out the spiritual assignment for you. If you're close to her or if you can afford to visit her even if she's far please go ahead and do that for seven good days you will be with her for seven good days then if you cannot you know go get across to your biological mother then you can also do it via the phone you can do it through phone call listen attentively to how i will teach you to go about the spiritual assignment firstly you will be needing rain water for the spiritual assignments, your mom should get a rainwater that will be enough for you to use for seven days. Then she should put that rainwater in a white container like this. You know, I always advise you to have a white container that you could be using for your spiritual assignment, specifically for your spiritual assignment. So she should. Put that rainwater in the white bowl every day she would use it for for prayers for you she should get some quantity of the rainwater put it into this white bowl then get some quantity of sea salt and also a handful of sea salt and also pour it into this white bowl as well pour it into this white bowl as well that contains the rainwater then she begins to pray she should hold her tummy and her breasts while making this prayer for you because in that stomach in that womb she carried you for nine good months and also she breastfed you with her breast so she should hold put one hand on her breast and the other hand on her stomach and begin to release blessings into that rainwater. She should pray that just like rainwater is one of the mysteries of the Most High God, no man knows where this rainwater comes from. That as she is making this prayer into this rainwater, as the womb that carried you and brought you into this world, that she prays that let the God of heaven and earth arise and fight for you. Whatsoever is bringing you hindrance in whatsoever you know that challenges is. 
Speak to her. Pour out your mind to your mom. Tell her the challenges you're experiencing so that she would know how to channel her prayers. That whatsoever that thing is that is troubling her child, she would mention your name three times and mention her own name, the son or daughter of so-so -so person, that she prays for you from the bottom of her heart as the womb that carried you and brought you into this world and the woman that breastfed you that she prays that every power working against that thing you want to achieve as she speaks into that rain water that rain water is a mystery one of the mysteries of the most high god let no man understand the way you would receive your deliverance let no man understand the way you would receive your liberation your freedom let those things that has not been working for you begin to work for you let heaven smile at you that she cries to god of heaven and earth to free her child to re remove all those veils covering her child to untie everything Every rope they have used to tie the child spiritually in the evil coven to lose you from every bondage working against your life. After she's done doing this prayer, she should give the water to you to bath with. You should bath with it every night for seven uninterrupted nights. Every day she carries out this prayer using the same procedure that I just said now. By the time she's done doing this for you, in the unfailing name of the Most High God, by the special grace of God, you would see that thing that has been standing as a challenge, as a hindrance to your life, give way naturally. Because so long as no power could pull you down from that woman's womb, for the period of that nine months, she was able to carry you in her womb by the special grace of God, by the grace God gave her to cover you and carry you for that period that no power could pull you down in form of miscarriage. She could do that prayer for you and no man born of a woman would be able to beat that prayer she has done for you. Try this prayer. I have received uncountable testimonies from this prayer a man that has applied for his document over a long period of time by the time i told him things to do and also to round off that prayer using this method he called his mom on the phone and the mom did that prayer for him prayed on the rainwater via the phone call he used it for seven days even by the fifth day his document was out and a whole lot of testimony, singles getting married as a result of this prayer. Who has stood to say you would not get married? Who has stood to say you would not be settled in that marriage? Try this out and you would see what the God of heaven and earth would do. That thing which only him can do through the womb that brought you into this world. He's going to do it for you. Then in the absence of rainwater, if you cannot get rainwater, you could also use your dew water. If you cannot also get your dew water, you could also use your coconut water. These are the three things you can use for the spiritual assignments. And by the special grace of God, you would never regret that you did this spiritual assignment. God bless you. If you know that you enjoy or will teach on this channel or will preach, will preach Jesus. If you know that you enjoy everything we're doing, please kindly like and follow our page. Comment on our posts, like them, share them. Invite your friends to be a part of this wonderful group. Then if you know you don't like what we're doing, please kindly block us. So that you wouldn't get offended whenever you see our videos pop up on your screen. God bless you. And never hold anything tighter than you're holding on to God. Until I see you again. Remain blessed and beautiful. God bless you.